This topic is solving an exponential equation by finding common bases with linear exponents. So the rule or property or definition that we're going to be using is actually called the one-to-one -one property of exponentials. Okay. So the one-to-one -one property of exponentials states that if you do have two exponential equations or exponential expressions in an equation, if this base matches this base, then the only way that this left side can be equivalent to the right side is if the exponents are also the same, okay? So our goal is to try to get our expressions on both sides of the equation to have the same base. So that way then all I have to do is equate their exponents and solve that resulting equation. So here I have this particular problem. Um, this is the first one. And it is 125 equal to 25 raised to the x minus 4. Now you would try to see, you always look at the smaller base. That will usually be your the base, that, the common base. Um, but sometimes you have to go even smaller than the smallest base here. So if I put like an invisible exponent of 1, my bases are 125 and 25. The smallest base is 25. Unfortunately, though, if I do 25 squared, it jumps right over 125. This indicates to me that I cannot use this smaller base 25. I will have to use a base even smaller, okay? Now, I do know that 25 is 5 squared. So I could have that expression raised to the fourth power. But then that means I also have to come up with an expression for 125. Now, I believe we can. So 5 raised to the third power is actually 125. Now, remember our properties for exponents. An exponent raised to an exponent means you multiply those exponents. And the same thing here. We would take this 2 and multiply it by x minus 4. So I get 5 raised to the third power equal to 5 raised to the 2x minus 8 power. And now we can apply our one-to-one -one property because we do have them written with the same base. So now that they have the same base, all I have to worry about is the top exponent, the left exponent equaling the right exponent. And then from here, you just go ahead and solve for x. And these are exponents. X was originally in the exponent, so X can be anything. It doesn't have to necessarily be positive, even though we did get a positive value there. Similarly here, you have the two bases, 4 and 64. So you want to try to go with the smaller base. Now, I do believe that we can get 64. 4 raised to the third power is 64. So here we have 4 to the 12X. Here we have 4 raised to the third power, but that's still raised to the 3x plus 3. So we have to apply our exponent rule that says an exponent raised to another exponent means you multiply those exponents. So this actually ends up becoming 4 to the power 9x plus 9. And again, once we use our one-to-one -one property, since the bases are the same, in order for these two expressions to be equivalent, those exponents need to be the same. So then we'll solve this resulting equation. And we get the answer that x equals 3.